We promised you an electrical overview of our hybrid AC-DC system that runs off of a Jackery power station, and we're gonna give that to you today. Um, currently in the shop, we have this van that we're working on. Um, it was the first van that we converted back in 2020. The new owner has owned her since then and traveled across the United States. You can see her cute little map down here of everywhere she's been, she's pinned. Um, and she predominantly lives in this thing. So there was some updates that we needed to make, um, which we walked through in some of our YouTube shorts. If you're interested, we talk about how we tiled, how we added shore power, how we replaced the countertop. Um, but for this video, we are going to talk about the electrical overview. Here is where the electrical system is housed. Um, the main thing is obviously the Jackery. Um, but I think what people are interested in is how we're able to use the Jackery power station to still run a wired DC system. So we actually connect our fuse block. We have a six circuit fuse block down here. Um, cameraman will show you, perfect. And that is connected right here um, to our DC input um, or the DC portal in the Jackery. And that powers our um, LED 12 volt pu puck lights excuse me, which are up here, and then they are wired to this dimmable switch. Um, and then our fan is also hardwired to the fuse box as well. And we could have hardwired our Dometic fridge in here if we wanted to, but we just like the flexibility of plugging it in and out. Um, and they're still open circuit. So if you wanted to add puck lights, for instance, in the back that ran off of a different light switch in a different series, you totally could. You have room to kind of plug and play on the fuse box. Um, but we like the system because it gives us the flexibility of having a more traditionally set up electrical system with lights, um, switches, the fan, etc., but also provides us the flexibility of having appliances and AC specific electrical needs. Um, so we have the three outlets there. And then we also have an extension cord that connects right here. Let me see if I can grab it. It's right here. And this connects to another AC port on the other side. So when you need to charge, um, or do anything while you're laying in bed, you can just plug this in. And then two other things that we did to make this a bit more um, functional for the current owner. She pretty much lives in this thing. And so she is staying more at campsites or places where shore power is available. So she found herself being able to plug in to shore power quite a bit. Um, so what we did was we added two shore power plugs on both sides of the van, one so she can both charge the Jackery, but also plug the fridge in if she wants to. While she's not using the Jackery, she can do so on this side. And then on this side, it plugs in directly underneath the kitchen, and we're going to install this, which will sit right here on the countertop. So any of her cooking appliances, she can actually just plug right in, which is direct to shore power. Um, so yeah, so that is a rundown and an overview of our hybrid AC-DC system with the Jackery power station. Um, if you have any questions or are interested in like an electrical mapping video, like a diagram of how we set this up or the exact products that we used, we can get that put together for you guys. Um, just let us know in the comments and be sure and subscribe.